Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. With week one serial coming to an end, I know you guys are feeling it too. It has been an absolute shit show with 30k DC procs, 20k Rothgar procs. The proc sets are absurd, but don't worry, Horcrux has your back. In this video, we're going to be going over some of my top counters to each one of these sets, so stick around. Welcome back guys and before we begin today's video a huge shout out to my patrons these guys are absolutely amazing I mean let's be real everyone who is subbed to the channel is amazing but these guys are especially so 72% of everyone who watched my videos are not currently subscribed so please do your boy Horcrux a favor please subscribe hit the bell icon I know some streamers some YouTube content creators bitch about having 40% people not subscribe well Horcrux is at 70 so let's, let's try to get that down just a little bit maybe a 69 eh. But anyway, uh, the first set we're going to talk about, I'm sure you guys absolutely hate, is Dark Convergence. And it just so happens, Dark Convergence is the most easily countered of these proc sets. So when someone comes in to drop their load, it puts a Nova on the ground. Okay, it sucks you in, does hella damage if you're stuck in it. Guys, did you know, if you're blocking when this is dropped, it doesn't yank you? And guys, did you also know... That if you're in the center of this for whatever reason you choose you choose to stay in this because you're a masochist, you can also block it. You can block the damage. I I shit you not. It does it does like nothing. And guys, roll dodge. Just please roll dodge out of this. Okay, that, that that's number one tip. Is please just block it. If you can't roll dodge, just block it. It does like nothing. So tip number two for this set, you guys can actually drop a negate on top of dark convergence if you see a dark convergence on the ground you can negate it from the sorcerer's skill line uh, yeah i shit you not it's ruined up a few of my combos as well so if you're in a group you know a small group you know a big group you know what have you if you have someone with like a dedicated negate that would be fan fucking tastic because it gets rid of dark convergence it stops the first combo and you pretty much turn the fight and tip number three and this is going to be tip number three for the other two remaining prospects as well guys um just don't stack on crown like watch your positioning like these sets are made to just annihilate a group of people so just don't don't play into it guys just just spread out enough don't always stack on crown you know one two three go you know start popping all your spells you know stack on crown go 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 i know how it is um try your best to kind of not fall into that i mean if you do then you're probably going to get with 30k dc procs and it's more or less deserved in my opinion um <clears throat> all right so let's go on to set number two okay guys so coming in at set number two we have rothgar so rothgar contrary to popular belief even though it does aoe damage it actually does not scale off aoe cp nor does it scale off like an aoe lightning staff i tested this for about half an hour with me and my buddy jonathan and yeah it, it's it's direct damage there's a shit ton of ways to counter this so the idea of rothgar is to kind of bust up the tanky boys people's got 30 40k resistances you know in a group and it's really hard to burst those guys down and rothgar really really takes over and just completely nullifies those guys but there are counters to this you can still be tanky and not have high resistances there are amalgamation of skills passives sets that give you flat mitigation without giving you resistances so rothgar can proc so i'll go ahead and list somewhere um up through here um a whole list i'll be going through some of the ones that i picked out personally which are easy to attain or very beneficial so there will be floating around here we'll go through uh each one of them one by one so number one is buffer of the swift buffer of the swift is pretty good it gives you max and magic get armor armor i know guys it gives you armor but the five piece it reduces your damage by a flat 10 percent so rothgar cannot proc off this so equates about 5500 armor is about 10 percent uh worth of damage so that's essentially how much you'll be getting from a, a 10 percent above uh, as well as another item set is blessings of the potatoes it gives you three percent as well it used to be five unfortunately so you can slot this in a bar you know whatever so that'll give you a little bit more of a passive mitigation um, another set i want to point out is iron blood not a lot of people are using this and i'm really surprised yeah it does give you armor armor maximum health but 
when you take damage, you have a 10% chance to turn your blood into pure iron for 10 seconds, reducing all your damage taken by 30%. Yeah, your movement speed's impaired by a lot, but, you know, who cares? This is, like, 15,000, or 16, uh, five or 16.5k thousand worth of resistances. So if you really want to go the Tinker route without necessarily getting burst by Rothgar, this is a really good alternative as well. And I'll kind of end off here on a, a couple abilities. So we have Temporal Guard from the Sinjic Order skill line. This actually gives you minor protection, reducing your damage taken by 5% while it's slotted. Also, 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 guys, I don't know if you know this, but Lingering Flare in the support skill line is actually very, very good. So not only you know, can this proc Dark Convergence, you know, it pulls not blade out stealth, yada yada. But while it is slotted, you get major protection, which increases your or reduce your damage taken by 10%, which is absolutely incredible by just having this slotted, okay? Ooh, excuse me, on yon there. And in addition to this, you also have the support skill line passive. When you have it slotted, you get that recovery as well. So this is actually a phenomenal, phenomenal ability, not only to counter you know, Rothgar's, but it also counters all these proc sets, so, yeah, uh, just any kind of passive mitigation that you guys can muster, I feel that this would be a really good kind of meta-breaking trend to go, if you start making builds with just these passive mitigation numbers, and not necessarily stacking your resistances so high to where you have a really nice character sheet, and it helps you sleep at night, and you can brag to your friends how you have, uh, I don't know, 8,000 weapon damage and you have 40k resistances with infinite resources, you know, it's, it's, yeah, but someone hits you with Rothgar, you're, you're, you're gonna be flattened like a pancake, you know, so, sets like this, items like this, passive like this, of course, there's a lot more than what I have listed here, these are just some of the ones I have referenced off the top of my head, so, without further ado, let's get into set number three. Okay guys, so the last set that we have here on the list is Plate Break, and I'm not going to lie to you, you can click away now, there's, there's not much you can do about this set. <laughs> I've went through every passive, every skill line, like every set, there's just nothing you can do. The only thing you can really do is just don't ball group, and your healers just cannot be spamming like purifies like every half a second, otherwise you're, you're going to wipe your, your, your own team, right? Um... It's a baby dick dot from Plate Break, if you're unfamiliar with what it does. Pretty much whenever anyone hits you with anything, it puts this dot on you, it inflicts you a minor defile, and if it gets purged, uh, it explodes and does a shit ton of AoE. Um, to be honest, guys, there's really not much of a counter to this. Uh, it's really annoying. Uh, the dot's very minuscule. Uh, the explosion is very minuscule if you're just by yourself. If you're like a necromancer, you can self fire your, your, uh, your own character, you know, pretty cheaply. But if you're in a group and you're, you know, spamming purifies, this this set is a game breaker. I, I guess of all the three, the proc is much more underwhelming. But at the same time, there's really not much to counter, guys. Just uh, positioning, communication. Uh, really watch your your heals have to be on point. And just again, guys, don't stack on crown. Don't don't be the zerg, okay? Just get away from those guys. Go do your own thing, okay? Learn learn the game. Learn your character. Jeez. <laughs> But yeah, that's really all I have for that set, guys. Uh, hopefully you found this video uh, kind of informative. I, it, it wasn't meant to be some game-breaking uh, video that's going to completely nullify all these sets. I mean, let's be real, these sets are going to be in the game for a while until Zoss decides to nerf them, which uh, uh, I don't think they are. I think they're kind of... They put these sets in the game. They're, they're back in their chair with, with their fucking... Uh, with their fucking popcorn. You know, just, just, just watching the show with their, their cherry vanilla Coke. A fountain drink soda so um, I'm having a good time I hope you guys are too hopefully the sets aren't rubbing you guys the wrong way I'm I'm having a blast with them even though I get shit on all the time by them but um, they are able to be played around uh, you can play into them you can play around them I thought about posting a video as well about how to absolutely abuse these sets but uh, I think you guys kind of get the gist of how these sets work and uh, I'm not going to put that content out there to make things any worse for the ball groups and zergs that are out there. You guys are having a hard enough time as is. <laughs> so uh, that is everything. Uh, again, guys, thank you for subbing to the channel, watching the videos. A huge shout out from, to my patrons yet again. And if you guys do me a favor, just hit the bell icon. It do me a great big favor, help keep me motivated. I will be streaming later on today, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays this week. So if you guys have made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching and have a great day. Peace.